We're now joined by the head coach of the men's cross country team, Coach Ed McAllister. And Coach, it's the first time that your guys have gone down to national since 2005. How do you feel to be the coach of this team? Well, this is a, a very, very different team, and it's a real blend. There's a lot of seniors on this team, and I think that they're just starting to come into uh, uh, their peaks, their, their maturity as runners. Um, and I think they're also flanked by some outstanding young talent. Uh, so I, I, I'm very excited. I think this team is, sees themselves moving up and on the way up, and uh, they have some very high goals and aspirations, and, and rightfully so. And you talk about on their way up. They got third at the CCAC run right behind two top teams of Olivet and St. Francis. How did you feel about that, and how did the guys feel about that overall? Actually, I wasn't real happy. It was not a great race that day. Um, you knew that Olivet and St. Francis were up there, and, and we expected to be third, um, and uh, there was no one really behind us. Trinity was the next team, and they were uh, somewhat behind us. So we kind of knew we were going to be third there. But the importance for us was at that meet was running the kind of times that made sure that when the Raiders looked at us, because we did make it as an art at large bid, that they didn't feel that it was a substandard performance. You guys are going to be running at a venue you've run at before at Kansas and one that Brian Corcoran has done very well at before. He got a fourth place finish at the CCAC run. How are you expecting your guys to come out and, and do at Nationals? I'm very excited. You know, one of the things, it's a difficult course. A lot of times people think it's just running, but every course has its own personality. And we have been there. And we were very successful our last time. The last time we ran there, we were ranked 27th. And after a fifth place finish at pre nance we were up to 14th. So the guys are approaching it with a lot of confidence. They know how to attack the course. The weather's going to be cold, which is definitely going to prove a problem for your southern teams and your California teams. I think we're, we're right where we want to be right now. Well, Coach, thank you very much, and good luck to you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Woo! Here with Shane Kenny, one of the members of the men's cross country team. You guys are going down to nationals for the first time since 2005. How's that feel for you? Oh, it's an amazing feeling. Uh, you know, these group of guys, we've been together now for years. You know, I'm a senior. This is my fourth year on the team. And uh, just so much hard work we've put in and to see it all pay off is uh, it truly really means something. So we're looking forward to it. And how do you guys think that uh, you can do down there? Uh, well, top 10 all season has been the goal. Uh, we go and rank 16th in the country. Um, but there's a few teams ranked ahead of us that we've beaten over the course of the season that we know we can run with. So uh, top 10, if we run well, is definitely a goal that we can achieve, and uh, that's what we're looking to do. What would you say would be the most memorable moment of this season? I'd say um, either pre-nationals in Kansas or uh, the Great Lakes Classic in, in Aquinas College in Michigan. Those two races were, I think, our best as a team. Uh, we really put it together and everyone ran well. And, you know, we got fifth at both those races, uh, so our performances were great there. Those were really memorable days. We're now sitting down with num another member of the men's cross-country team, Chris Sarna, another senior. And, Chris, you guys get third in the CCAC uh, final meet behind two really, really good teams, but you're right up there with them. How'd that feel for you and for the team? I think our team had a great, uh, great performance at conference. Uh, we have two outstanding teams in front of us in St. Francis Alvet. They're ranked two and three. Um, I mean, we did our best to keep up with them. Uh, we can definitely run with them at Nats, na uh, Nationals. And what does it mean for you to be able to go down to Nationals in your senior season? It's a great feeling to make Nationals as a team. Uh, since we haven't made it since 2005, uh, we're just trying to show t uh, people that we're for real. And by going for our goal of top 10, it'd be outstanding for this program. 
We're joined now by senior Chris Schellenberger, another member of the men's cross country team going down to nationals for the first time since 2005. How do you feel to be part of this team? Uh, I feel honored. Um, in my opinion, this is probably the biggest running and athletic achievement I've had. And uh, just to be part of this team with this great group of guys and to work for the last six months and finally have it all pay off and make it there is a pretty special feeling. Coach Mack and some of the comments that he made uh, made it sound like he expected a lot more from you guys in the CCAC run. What are the changes that you guys can make to make sure that you are a top contender down at Nationals? Um, well, the first place to start is honestly actually with me. Um, all year long I was generally the third man and at that meet I was seventh. Um, I had a uh, problem with my ankle and had, had surgery the Tuesday before the race and still ran on Saturday. So. Um, uh, everything's fine with me now, so uh, that'll help a lot. And then um, another one of our guys, Chris Sarna, just didn't have a good race, and I think he's feeling better. So uh, basically that, that performance was mostly on uh, we were a pretty injured team, beaten down. But at that point, at this point, everyone's uh, pretty much come back and feeling better. So um, just those things alone will make an improvement. And then uh, we've been preparing and mentally focused on uh, – having to run at the national level all year long, so we're ready. And uh, we think there's going to be a lot of teams there that aren't. And in your mind, what is the realistic finish that you guys can have down at nationals? Realistic, um, say 12th. But if we run uh, lights out, best that we could, 7th or 8th. All right, sounds good, Chris. Thank you very much. Good luck to you. And we're here again with another member of the men's cross country team, that's going down to Nationals for the first time since 2005, Brian Corcoran. And, and Brian, you finished fourth overall out of 118 at the CCAC final meet. Uh, how was that feeling for you? Uh, it, was a, it was a great feeling. I mean, um, I think in the last couple of meets, I've really kind of found my own and I'm um, starting to really come into my stride. And uh, I've been getting in better shape week by week. So um, I was up in the front pack like, like I planned. Um, unfortunately, I lost second place within the last, you know, 200 yards of the race. But fourth place is was good enough, and um, overall, I think the team did really well too. It wasn't our strongest performance, but uh, it was just what we needed to get to advance on at a national. So I can't complain. And you have been running well all season long. Uh, how do you expect to be able to run down at nationals? What would be the goal for you personally? Um. Personally, I'd like to, to make All-American status. Uh, I believe I have to be in the top 30 in the country. So, um, you know, personally, it's, it's been a goal I've chased for ever since I got here into the program. So um, I think it would really help the team score as well if I was able to make that. And uh, uh, another guy in the team also is looking to make All-American too, Eric Hancock. I think he's more than capable of running right next to me uh, throughout the entire race. So... I'm hoping, you know, hopefully we'll all come together as a unit uh, at Nationals. We've yet to do that really, but if we all come together as one at Nationals, I think you can expect nothing less than top ten. Well, Brian, thank you very much, and good luck to you guys. Thank you for having me.